Welcome back to Stuart Arts. Uh, I've always admired antique English pieces uh, like tankards and stuff boxes, uh, things of that type that uh, utilize hardwoods, but they combine with metals such as copper and silver, and uh, also they use porcelain and uh, ceramic materials as well, and combine them very nicely uh, into a lot of uh, very interesting forms. So with that in mind, I picked up this copper pipe at a yard sale for a buck. It's one and five eighths inch diameter and I thought maybe I would try to incorporate this into uh, one of my little uh, pieces here. And uh, so I made up a design for that here and we'll take a quick look at that design and then we'll get started. Here's my idea. Uh, this is a wooden trinket box or ring box. and. Uh, what I plan to do is uh, take a piece of copper and I'll decorate it by hammering or something like that to give it some texture. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll capture it between two pieces of wood. So my plan is to use my maple to create kind of a barrel for the inside of the box and then I'll slide the copper over the top of that and then I'll close it off on the bottom uh, with a, a dark wood of some type, maybe sapelli, maybe black walnut don't know I'll have to see what I have on hand and uh, I'll do a matching top to the bottom and uh, I'll have some type of an insert I was thinking of using one of my uh, resin domes that uh, like I featured in a previous uh, video got a piece of one and five eighths inch copper pipe and I'm just going to uh, score a line on this so that I have a guide for my hacksaw that way I get a reasonably square cut to begin with. All right, I've cut this off with a hacksaw and I'm just gonna clean up the uh, edge here. I'll make a nice liberal chamfer on this uh, just to have a nice uh, square cut edge here to work with. So I'll do a chamfer on the outside and I'll chamfer the inside as well. And I'm just using the file to just round over the sharp edge from the chamfer. All right, we're ready to soften that up and do some hammering. Put some heat on it and in a minute it'll be glowing. And then we'll just let it sit and cool by itself and that'll soften it up pretty good. All right, nice and red, we'll let it sit. Go do something else while it cools down. Tap, 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 in between these two rings as best I can. It will not be perfect and I'm just gonna distress this ring and maybe make it bulge out a little bit. And hopefully I don't screw up the roundness of this thing too bad. But the metal is uh, much softer now, so I should be able to uh, put a nice look to it. Well, after about uh, two or 300 taps, uh, I think I got a pretty good uh, distressed look for it. So uh, it's out around pretty well, so I'll just take it over to the uh, my little anvil and kind of straighten that out. Well, I took the uh, scotch Bright and a little bit of uh, steel wool to my copper here and polished it up. And I can't, gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll set our this aside and we'll uh, go ahead and start working on the wood parts. My original plan was to turn this out of maple, uh, but I rethought that. I found this uh, nice old uh, oak pallet board that I got out of our dumpster here and it's got some nice grain and color and I thought that was a little more in keeping with some of the old English pieces that I've seen. So I've turned the uh, barrel part of this. This is the sleeve that will go inside the copper here and I've just cut this cylinder. I'm going to cut this cylinder. Uh, this is the bead that I have right here and uh, that will capture the top of the copper sleeve and then I have a little protrusion here on the bottom and that will fit into a bottom piece that I'm going to make out of a different piece of uh, dark wood. I'll do some light sanding on the uh, inside bore and uh, I'll uh, go ahead and part this off and we'll set it aside and work on the top and the bottom. I think this is coca ball. I prepared these two little blanks here. Uh, these will be for the top and the bottom. Measured the diameter of the cylinder portion of this and I'm going to cut this a little small at first and then sneak up on it until it's a nice close sliding fit. 
That's a very decent fit there. This Coca-Cola is sure fun to work. Well, since this piece is uh, reminiscent of Victorian era uh, wood and metal craft uh, items, I decided to use this little crown piece here. It's some little piece of jewelry that's in there. It's kind of nice. It might actually be a, a very rare piece of jewelry there. So I'm planning to contact Prince Philip and see if he'd like to buy this as a gift for Queen of England here. So we'll go ahead and get this thing finished up and then I'll make my phone call. Just a little deeper in the middle so I'll have a recess for my cyanoacrylate glue. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, that's very nice. Put my first coat of uh, linseed oil on here and uh, then I'll set this thing to the side here and I'll work on the barrel and the bottom. This thing is a little bit charred. This is the barrel that the copper will go over. And uh, when I cut this thing uh, with the Forstner bits, uh, the heat uh, generated a little bit of charring. So I'm going to clean this up on my spindle sand. I've got my little piece of coca bola mounted in the, uh, the chuck here. And I just turned out a recess uh, to take the bottom of this little barrel. and I back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I've got a nice tight fit here with this. Flip the bottom around, and I'm just cleaning up the bottom of it here, and I'll make it a little bit thinner. All the pieces are, are uh, built, and so I'm just gonna do a fit up here. The copper ring goes on the barrel, and uh, has kind of a nice sliding fit. Uh, the bottom here, it goes wood to wood at the bottom of this little bottom piece here. So you can kind of see it down in there. There's no gaps or anything, so that turned out good. Uh, the top here, it's got uh, almost too snug of a fit, really. And then I'll have this, I've decided to use, as I mentioned, this crown here uh, as a finial. Now the only thing I don't really like on this is that uh, this little ring here is, is light. It doesn't seem to really match the piece. And you know some of the old British Victorian stuff was made out of some type of oak. And so I, I like having the oak, but I don't like the light color. So I will go ahead and stain that a little bit just around the top, just so it doesn't pop out from the rest of the piece. Yeah, I think that's going to work out good. This project is finished. Uh, this is uh, Pretty much what I had planned on, on turning out here. I think it turned out pretty nice here. I was a little iffy on the, the oak banding at the top, but I think it adds a nice little contrast to the dark coca bola. The hammered copper turned out very nice, I think. And uh, I hit it with a little bit of steel wool to get it to shine a little bit. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how it ages. Uh, the top has a pretty decent fit here. And uh, it has a nice little snap when you put it back together. And so that thing is uh, going to be good for whatever anybody wants to keep. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in to part two. There's more of this story to tell.